Greetings. On a recent trip back from our mailbox, we discovered that we had a whole bunch of envelopes, most of which were bills or coupons or other advertisements, most of which we had already dealt with online. And every now and then you get a package in the mail that is bigger. More stamps on it, your name highly in the middle. But often these are also just larger advertisements or larger coupons. But every now and then, you get a letter that looks like this or directs you to go to the post office to pick this up because it's so special that while your name is on it and the return address is on it, there's a special tracking number and more postage to ensure that it gets to you all the way from Ontario, which in this case was from my brother, to us. And there's something special about getting an envelope like that because that, it indicates that someone has spent time and energy and love to put something together for you, and they've put it into the envelope, sealed it, put your specific address so it gets right to you, puts their address in case it gets lost, and they fix enough postage onto it to ensure that it gets to you properly. It makes you feel warm and special to think that somebody out there is caring for you. Now, admittedly, in COVID-19, We've been unable as a community of family and friends to connect with each other as easily as we used to. However, truth be told, despite a vast technological array of emails and texting and, and social media and Facebook, there's many in this world that still feel distant and disconnected from each other. Begs the question, where are you distant from family, from friends, from God. And what words of encouragement would you like to hear from God, from friends, from family? 2 Corinthians 3, chapter 3, reads this. You yourselves are our letter written on our hearts known and read by everyone. You show that you are a letter of our ministry of Christ, the result of our ministry, not written with ink, but with the Spirit of the, of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. As we continue our journey through revealing revelation, I would invite you to join with us this coming Sunday, October 25, 2020. As we look into the letter written by Jesus for the church at Philadelphia to encourage and to affirm them and see what that might apply for us in here in 2020. Until then, peace and blessings, my friends. Amen.